So welcome back ladies and gentlemen and I welcome you all to PUBG Mobile Thunder Cup presented to you by Esports Empire and Nice Cactus. Yeah, I, I know I did not practice that as much right now but yeah the game has begun and we are back into the action. We are back with Esports Empire Thunder Cup and the game has already begun. Yesterday you, you guys did witness all of the four matches that happened. And again, today there are going to be four more matches for this particular region. We are seeing so many teams playing in this particular game as well. And let me remind you, just five of these teams. The top five teams are going to qualify for the next stages, for the next prelims in this thousand US dollar championship. So for now, the game has already begun. Talking about the plane path, the plane path had started from the region of Gatka and is now going all the way up to that region of Lipovka. So uh, it is a very good plane path for most of the teams. Slowly and steadily, we will be seeing them dropping in their different different respective locations. There are just 13 teams right now, so not, not much fights that we might see in this particular game as well. We do have the player of the team Demigod right now on our screens over here. Chi, Wham and KVN from team Demigod is playing in this area. Meanwhile, rest of the teams, they are also slowly and steadily dropping in their respective location. Team join me as well, Kid, Power, uh, Nidu, all of these guys from team join me can be seen on our screens as well. So let's see, join me. How do they, you know, continue in this particular game? We do also have the players of team Mafia uh, around this area of um, Palm region. So this is also going to be a pretty interesting region to see the players of team Mafia in this particular area. Uh, again, we do have the players of team APG as well, dropping in near that Palm region and Delta region as well. So the, the players, the teams, they are dropping in different, different locations. They are dropping in different, different areas as well. And... I'd like to see some fights coming in forward a very in the very beginning of the game, in the very starting stages of the game. Uh, but it looks like that this is just going to be... I'm so sorry. Just give me a second. Alright, so I think that that is not going to be possible right now. Because all of these teams, just look at them. So very well distributed all along the map. Uh, much expected I guess uh, it, w it was a little bit expected as there were very less number of teams playing in this particular game just 13 teams uh, but I hope to see huge action in coming from all of these 13 teams as well uh, we do also have the players of team FGS who are now trying to go a little bit more north side I guess near that region of Stalwar and Kamesh this team would, would like to drop in and then get some loot for themselves uh, let, let's just go on from team number one up to the last team uh, number 16 so for now team demigod on our screen uh, demigod chi right now rooting for himself he already does have a uh, decent loot for himself so chi with that level 3 armor and a level 1 helmet for himself is not going to be he is going to be you know uh, very much happy about the loot that he has right now even that scar l and m16 combination so not bad at all in the very beginning stages of the game uh, you get such a good loot Meanwhile, Demigod Wham, Wham is as soon as I switch on him, yeah, there we go. The level 3 backpack is going to be in play, the level 2 gear for him, M4 and DP combination as well. So even Wham, he is completely ready for any upcoming fights. Meanwhile, talking about KVN as well, the third guy from team Demigod, UMP45 and an M4 to work with. So, so pretty good weapons coming in from team Demigod. And let's see here, let's see how they repair the team Demigod, they continue this game.
all right all right so sorry for the for the breaks i didn't break over there uh but yeah fgs we we have the pleather team fgs pugal sap uh, he has an m4 all right so so a weapon of the most possible choice we do see uh, this particular player with that particular weapon as well he has an m4 and an m16 to play with and and the loot is looking quite decent for him meanwhile the reaper he has that sks and dp28 combination looks like by the uh finding an akm or something like a barrel to play with mm, it would definitely enhance his uh enhances chances of surviving in a very close range battle because that db28 it does have that you know high bullet capacity but the fire rate it is painfully slow it is very much slow and uh, let's see if reaper is able to find something for himself or not meanwhile speed he has a barrel he has an he has a scar l as well and he is just going to find the 3x scope as well for him for his car and so it is going to be a very a very good loot coming in for the players of team f g s and the last guy they jet he is also he is also pretty set on the loot as soon as i swear on him he got a first aid as well so yeah uh f s g they they are also looking well and good in terms of the loot team beta h2 r on our screen right now he does have 11 one helmet and now is moving towards the georgia pole region where team t b k team t b k by b just waiting around that particular area the default is going to be the person of contact right now the default does not find an index for himself as well would definitely mark it for his own teammate so that they can uh, utilize it if he, if he has an index already on that uh, sks he definitely does that sks on ready has an atex scope available for it so let's see tbk uh, default right now if the players of team beta you know they try to push in onto this containers region it is going to be pretty interesting to see if the players of team beta they you know uh, they expect that there is going to be some or some or the other player in that particular region and who might try to take him down uh, but team beta looks like that they are very much comfortable in this area in this particular compound that they have uh they uh, the loot is not going to be very good for them uh, that is also going to be a little bit of a concerning situation uh pecan he has that uh ump 45 and an m4 to play with not sure if that's an m4 or an m16 looks like an m16 suppressed so pecan is still uh, you know lacking in that loot even bot vj is rocking the same composition of a ump 45 and an m16 talking about beacon again another another player another same combination a ump 45 and m16 to his name as well but this time we do see a scar l and a barrel coming in from h to r uh, so team beta as well team beta uh, they, they they are not very good on the loot but seems like that they do want to take those early fights initial fights if they can find it and then you know try to get that loot that your enemy team has let's move on to the fifth team on the board as well uh, probably the fourth but in slot five right now we have the players of team a l s k 2 pro uh he has a level 3 helmet as well and no, no bandages or med kits for him but the syringe uh, the boosters are going to do the job for this particular player uh the punk he also has an m4 and an uzi to play with uh, the, the, the loot is pretty good for the players of team alsk look seems like that and I, I hope so that they are able to you know play this game perfectly as they want to franco he has a m4 and that akm combination i guess uh, the, the normal choice of each and every support player that we see nowadays that m4 for that mid range on and a little bit of a long range going for those tap shots converting into a full x uh full 6x scope if he does have one and the akm for any close encounters is going to be utilized by franco meanwhile we do all see uh, we do also have mikey loves he has a scar l and a mini 14 so mini 14 trying to utilize that particular weapon for the medium and the long range engagements to you know conserve that ammo instead of going for a full spray uh, you tap those bullets out trying to get more accurate trying to get more picks rather than just blindly firing upon your opponents so mikey loves uh, might be conserving some ammo for his team as well meanwhile now let's move on to the players of team akuma akuma kits uh kts all right he does have quite good loot as well seven bandages four first days to him completely level two out so no no problems at all for kts Mui talking about this particular play he has an m24 he has a m24 so this is going to be a weapon of interest that i would love to see uh coming forward in the very new stages of the game because in in those second and third zones where, where the play zone is not with you you need to find a way inside the play zone which makes it very difficult while taking simultaneous gunfires from multiple directions that m24 comes in very handy trying to get a knock onto your opponent uh, using that particular weapon I mean M24, it is a weapon of choice definitely in these in these very early stages of the game. Until the fifth and sixth play zone, this M24 can deal huge impacts on a rotation for your team. So I'd love to see Mui playing on this M24 right now. Stacy, 
Uh, yes, still, all right. He does have a scar L for himself, and the second weapon cannot be seen just because of PUBG Mobile and its and its glitches. So, Stacy, he does have a scar L. The second weapon we might just see very soon. Uh, Rux talking about this particular guy. He does have that level three helmet on for himself as well, a level three vest as well. All right. So, Lux might be the person who might take that entry coming in from the players of Team Akuma. They they are looking well equipped for each and every fight that might come to their way. UGK. Uh, we do have Fire Sab, Shazam and a Dragon from this particular team and Uzi and an M4 if I'm not wrong coming in for uh, uh, Fire over there. Meanwhile, Akuma J uh, Ajeri gets a big KMTS has been able to open things up over there. But let's move on to the player of team Akuma. Love to see the fight coming in. KTS, he has been able to take one down and instant rotations trying to close in onto the players of team FGS. Let's see how does, the, how does this particular fight come into play. The nades are going to be thrown in. Lux with that nade. Trying to get that knock, won't be able to get that particular knock over there. Again, another nade comes in. Reaper is pretty low, but Reaper will survive. He will survive without any trouble whatsoever. And, and the players of Team FS, FGS, they are also going to fall back from that particular area. But as soon as they tried to do Akuma's KTS was right present over there, Reaper gets taken down. His teammate also has been taken down on the ground. And now the kill confirmation is coming in from Akuma Flux. Flux, meanwhile, he gets shut down by Poogle from behind. Spoogle coming up with an M4 spray. Getting a knock on to Akuma's Flux. Now the revivals have to be put into play as well. The revival is going to come in onto Flux. And let's see how, how does the players of Team Akuma now, you know, try to engage into this particular fight. Since uh, we also see Reaper has been taken down. It is Speed who is completely out of the game. Uh, so, so for Team Akuma, these are going to be some few easy kills. And yes, Team FGS was about to say this, that there is nothing you, that you have to, you know, wait in this location for about. We just have to rotate away, just rotate away from this particular position as you cannot do much standing in this particular area. So Team FGS, uh, they will be falling back, taking two players as their casualty. Meanwhile, the play zone has gone all the way south. So the play zone, it is favoring, it is centering around that Gatka region. And let's see how, how do the players they play in this particular area because there are a lot of small compounds that you can hide in. There are a lot of small compounds that you can be inside and you know try try to continue that particular game in. So right now all of these players, all of these teams uh, they are going to be in this particular area of Gatka only. We do see the players of Team Mafia as well pretty deep inside the Gatka region. They are holding that almost the central area. The players of Team Orange POV, uh, POV, POV, Sun, Sun, Skynin and Astro. All of these players are in this particular area. All of these players are in this game, but not sure what POV was doing over there. Okay, okay. So POV, POV now. Just, just uh, waiting for that mini 14. And Sun, Sun, talking about Sun, Sun, he has that buggy with himself as well. Just, just making sure that this compound is under their control for Team ORG. And Orange, uh, Team Orange Esports, I mean, Orange play, they, they are they are a team that we definitely have to look out for. One of the best possible teams that I have ever seen. And right now, Sunsun play, he is just scoping in into anything that he can. The DP28 scope, the DP28 Forex, it is a very big thing that comes into play. And let's see if, team, if, if ORG, if they are able to, you know, uh, get those GP28 shots onto their opponents and get some picks for themselves. That is going to be pretty, that will come in pretty handy for them. Meanwhile, a southern play zone shift coming into play as well. Uh, now all of these teams they they have to slowly and steadily rotate inside the play zone as well. But he, but talking about uh, the players of Team Mafia, they might just come into that fight against the players of Team uh, Join Me. A three versus three fight it might just be on the cards. But Join Me, they are more focused upon the players of Team APG. An APG in the backdrops. Ah, they they are not looking to get into any kind of trouble. They are not looking to get into any kinds of battles. So it looks like the join me Nidu. He is going to be in this particular area for a very long period of time. But APG zero ES. He gets a knock. He has been able to take down one of their opponents, and the knock has been achieved. APG they are four men strong. And talking about join me, uh, these these are just three guys who are surviving in this particular area. So this is going to be a very very difficult position that the players of team join me have been put in because the next play zone you never know where this next play zone is going to be the particular this part talking about this particular play zone it now was centering somewhere around ruins and it has already started to close in so th th there are not a lot of teams just two casualties from there up till now so i guess for now the, the situation has been a little bit co uh, cooled off right now 
but as soon as the fourth play zone comes in we might see some fights brewing in upon different different players and different different teams for now uh, we have beta h2r who is just, just boosting himself as he knows that he is some way or the other would have to fight it out against the players of team tbk uh, even bot vj is present in this particular area the m44x spray coming in just throwing in those bullets trying to get that knock over there and, and let's see Let's see how do the players of team Beta, they try to be in this game for as long as possible. Beta bot VG, H2R, Bacon and Ticon. All of these players from team Beta are just rolling in down, making sure that they are not taken down pretty early in the game. Waiting for the play zone to form. And I guess if, if the play zone goes towards the players of team TBK, only that the players of team Beta are definitely, definitely going to push in upon the players of team Beta, uh, onto the players of team TBK. So Beta, I guess they are just waiting in for, for the play zone to form. And as soon as the play zone comes in, TBK, they will be pushed in upon the, by the players of team Beta one way or another. But let's see. It all depends upon this particular zone. It all depends upon this particular little circle. What is going to be the circumference of it and the area in which it will form the play zone almost about to close in. Let's see. Let's see. Where is it going? There it goes a little bit south. TBK, they still are inside the play zone. Just no crush is the only person who is inside the play zone. So now I team beta either they have to fight it out or or otherwise it, it will be it will be pretty difficult for the players of team beta to move inside the play zone. 140 meters, never easy at all. But team beta, they might just be able to do it. H2R just, just a little bit downside down the hill in the in the downhill region, making sure that he is not the very first person to be taken down by the players of team TBK default uh, just trying to spot any of the players of team beta that he that he can and the players of team beta looks like that they do want to fall back from this particular angle they don't want to uh, engage into this fight against the players of team tbk as they do not have a lot of information to play with to work with uh pp Poi, he is going for those mini 14 shots over there not sure what, he, what what does he want to do meanwhile big quit gets panned out of that particular area the pan comes in the kill has been secured by the player of team lgs UBK meanwhile against the players of team 6 uh, Emp, they are going to be in this particular fight big dd he has already been panned out of the game and now the fight commences another player getting taken down gets taken down meanwhile now the spray comes in from vannada vannada messing up his spray vannada gets taken down and team alsk although they get those three kills their name but then one of their players two pro he gets third partied by the players of team akuma and akuma gets they are able to get those picks for themselves meanwhile even a molly coming in from the player of team max has been able to burn out one of their opponents the kill gets confirmed in their favor as well now the m4 shots are coming in the scarlet shots are coming in chris manages to get a knock on to the player of team beta bacon has been taken down the sk has to confirm that particular kill Pecon, Pecon is just hiding behind that smoke, trying to survive for as long as possible. The team Beta, they are in deep, deep, deep trouble right now. But Viva 33, Leon has been taken down. Coming in, uh, we do see some nays coming into their way. And, uh, and 33, Leon down on the ground has to get that revival on time. Otherwise, might just be, might just get eliminated completely. Even team Demigod on the footsteps, on the foothills of this particular slope. Let's see if they are able to survive this onslaught coming in from the different different teams. The motion sniper rifle, it is also going to be pretty much out. But meanwhile, LKS, they are getting again and again shut down by the players of team Akuma. The DP-28, it is coming in very handy. Uh, uh, Ajre uh, KTS, he is now inside this bug. He's just trying to make sure that he, uh, if he doesn't want to rotate or not, is going to be the question. Looks like that he definitely does. And the buggy is coming into the play now, trying to reposition himself against the players, against the fight that might just come in against the player of the ALSK. The kill might just want to be confirmed. ALSK Franco, he just goes down because of falling, and the kill feed has been read, read by the player of team Akuma. Let's see if ALSK, if they are able to survive somehow. They do have some busted down vehicles that they are using as cover. The punk trying to get some shots connected onto KTS, but KTS, as soon as he knows that his position is already compromised decides to rotate back decides to get away from this particular position as this is not the position that you would you would want to be in meanwhile a vehicle blast coming into play franco gets completely picked off the punk in that area still trying to hold demigod they finally engage into the fight against their opponents uh, just above them let's see if they're able to uh, able to eliminate the player the team tbk completely out of this game and all that is going to be the main question right now the shots are being thrown in continuously 
with those shots haven't been able to connect until now tbk default he, he had to heal himself up and he has done exactly the same demi got van gets taken down and the kill will be confirmed by the player of team org play as well org the only team to be inside this play zone they are going to make matters a little bit more interesting for most of the teams right now because being a solo team inside the play zone it has its own benefits and with so many teams that have to rotate inside the play zone it is going to be very very difficult for each and every team to get past the players of team org right now so let's see let's see how do the players of team org they will participate how do the players of team org they come into the game and get some picks for themselves the sky name he is just crouching down in this particular area behind the concrete blocks trying to make sure that he is not taken down by some other team but at the same point of time he can help his team you know be in that position for as long as possible he falls down Billy got chi chi he has been tagged a lot and in play gets a knock manages to get that knock as well now the shots are being continued on to chi to confirm that kill and his teammate son son play will be the person who gets that kill confirmation as well akuma stacy stacy coming into the game as well team akuma they are confirming those kills for themselves but stacy gets taken down instantaneously the shots are still being thrown in by the players of team join me as well flux he is getting sprayed upon by the player of team APG as well. The DB20 is are rolling in from each and every possible direction. Mossy getting those shots connected onto the player of team. Join me. Kid019. He has been taken down just behind. We also see the player of team Akuma and Dita as well. So it is not going to be any easy anyway easy for all of these teams to rotate inside the play zone. Join me, kid. Continuously being tapped. Akuma KT has confirmed the kill onto one of their opponents. The kill count gets added to their total number of kills that they have. Akuma flex flux. He is healing himself up. Just sitting behind the barn, making sure that he is covered from behind and not gets and does not get taken down. ORG, they did enjoy some picks coming in for them. We will join me. Power gets taken down by the player of team APG. Now the nade coming in from Akuma Flux will be a little bit too late as the kill has already been confirmed by the player who took him down. Talking about Beta H2R. Beta H2R is trying to just crawl his way towards safety, but he gets spotted down from a long way behind. Gets spotted down by the player of team APG. APG and that Gilly suit is working in the favor of Team APG again and again. 22-27 ES. He has been able to deliver two of those headshots onto our opponents. And, this, and two kills have already been secured. ORG Sky and gets a pick onto Demigod as well. Demigod, they, they are going down one by one. And ORG, that was going, that was their fourth kill on the board. Sunset play. He has been headshotted at the same time. So the HP is uh, the, the, so the HP on that helmet is not going to be very much to play with. But now ORG, the next play zone is a little bit far away from them as well. They have to move around 550 meters or so, or 100 meters to move inside the play zone. But they go down, they spot down the player of team ALSK. The punk has been spotted down. He gets taken down. And the kill might just come in anytime soon. Mikey loves you. The smokes have been seen by Astro play. Now the nades are going to come into play. The nade, it is pre a pretty close nade coming in onto Mikey loves. Mikey just takes a little bit of damage, 24 damage onto his health. And instantly getting back to safety, Mikey, he knows that he has to survive for a very long period of time. The nades are going to be a continuous threat to him right now. And, and Team ORG, they are also coming in with the random shots as well. So ALSK, Mikey Lux, he, he has to be very careful about where he position himself next because the next play zone, he also does have to move 100 meters inside the play zone. Join me, they are still surviving and we do manage to get a knock on to the player of Team Akuma. The kill gets confirmed, but join me, Nido. He gets third party by Max is Chris. Chris gets another pick. Punks, the kill has been confirmed by the player of team ORG. But now I would love to see the rotations coming in from the player of team ORG as they also do have to move inside the play zone. Sun Sun play trying to make himself home, trying to make himself comfortable. Now the smokes are also going to come into play. Completely being thrown off into this particular area. Now the smokes is going to definitely help him get a good position inside the play zone. Sun Sun play trying to hit those shots. Oh, not Sun Sun play, but he's still trying to hit those shots. But Sun Sun play just making sure that he does not get taken down. But as soon as Max Chris gets that knock, he has been traded off by POV POV. But POV POV, he gets taken down by the player of team APG from behind. This is this is very unfortunate coming in for the players of team ORG. The shots are continuously being thrown at them. Astro goes down. Nin play. Oh, Sky Nin. He is going to be the very last person standing in this particular area. Now, this is going to be a very tough situation to be in. But Sun Sun play gets taken down completely. Sky Nin has that buggy in, in his control. 
now just has to wait and watch he just has to wait against the players of team apg 27 uh, he knows i guess he knows the exact location for sky name but the shots are not coming in but his teammate shroud yes shroud gets that kill confirmation apg moving towards a very very good check in dinner all of their four guys are surviving and it is going to be a four versus three versus one scenario coming into play apg if they get spotted down by the players of team max that might be a little bit of a troubling situation but right now chris so that's Karel and 3x trying to scope out anything that he can. Akuma, the one guy standing for his team is still very much surviving and still very much in that area. Let's see if the players of Team Max are able to convert the most out of that particular player. Will they be able to secure that 8th point? Or will they try to move inside the play zone? These are going to be the, the two questions that I have right now. Krim, as soon as he tried to peek that particular angle, instantly gets shut down by the player of team APG. And the next play zone has also favored the same team as well. Shroud, he gets spotted down the tap shots. The tap shots are not going to be any good. Akuma, Ajeri, Ajeri is uh, surviving in that position somehow, making sure that he doesn't get taken down. But Team Max is going to be the team uh, that, that has been completely picked off now. APG 0 ES. He is going for the uh, he is going for the kill confirmation on the Max Stalker. But little does he know that there is going to be another player who might just put him to his grave. He might just come in with a backstab at any point of time. And those kills might be secured by the player of Team Akuma. Now, the names are coming in onto the player of Team Max. Max, they have been able to deal a lot of damage onto APG 0 ES. But Shroud gets the knock onto the player of Team Max. Krim is pretty low on HP. Now down to a 1 versus 1 versus 4 scenario. And the Krim's the kill might just get the just get textured if he is not able to survive. The charge comes into the play. The buggy is present over there. The kill, the kill onto Chris gets secured. Now Krim, Krim trying to survive for as long as possible. But, but Shroud is yeah, Shroud taken down. Krim now healing himself up in a 1 versus 3. Akuma, he couldn't have asked for more. Akuma, he is still very much, he is still very much, you know, uh, holding this particular area. And a nade coming in takes him down completely. Akuma now in a 1 versus 3 scenario. Ajuri, if he's able to take care of 20 beforehand, he might just be able to convert this game into a chicken. He gets a knock onto his opponent. Now APG in a 1 versus 2 scenario. Let's see. How do the players they come into the play? Zero ES. He has been taken down as well. Akuma. Akuma is very much in the game now. A 1 versus 1 against Mossy. Mossy is the person I guess who was playing with the DP20. Oh! Though the weapons won't be required as a nade coming in from the player of team APG will do the job. And team APG, they get that 12 kill chicken dinner for themselves. A very good game coming in for the players of team APG. And they secure that WWCD just like that. APG with those 8 kills. APG, oh, not 8 but 12 kills. They get that WWCD, a much required W. W C D for themselves. Second, we have the players of team Akuma as well with six kills to their name. Third, we have the players of team Max with seven kills to their name. Fourth, the players of team ORG with five. Join me. They have been able to get the, themselves a fifth position with two kills, and rest of the standings will be slowly and steadily scrolled on your screens right now. Definitely boring. Liz, uh, Lizzy channel. Uh, you guys you guys are right on your predictions these this team was particularly on fire and they played very very beautifully and achieved that chicken dinner for a second i was literally scared for uh, for the player of team apg they were playing so brilliant they were playing so absolutely phenomenally but akuma they had some other things on their mind akuma they were still very much in the game and it was a very good try coming in from jari with the nade coming in from mossy it was something that he, he hadn't expected and something that I also hadn't expected. But that nade, it was right on point and they were able to secure that chicken dinner for themselves. But yeah guys, this was the very first game of the day. Still, three more to come. We'll take a very short break and just be right back.
Isolated, but inside, held by a wind. Not a 
better place not to stay alone Gain my trust then you chose to break it Ask for truth but you only fake it Thought you said what we had was sacred It's all lies, all lies I was broken and isolated But inside held the fire waiting Not a word that you say can save this So don't try Cause this time you crossed the line guys to the second game of esports empire presents the thunder cup 1.0 presented to you by nicecactus.com and the game number two of day number two has already begun the map is going to be of miramar it is going to be pretty interesting to see which of these teams is going to win this particular game as well because this map the map of miramar brings a lot of lot of uh, new things talking about the different teams talking about the different plays that they can do huge map as well it's going to be super exciting to see but for now talking about the plane path the plane path has started from the region of Waladimar and is going all the way up to Impala so a pretty good plane path coming in the a little bit towards the southern side of the map but still a very good plane path uh, for all of these teams that usually drop in the region of Picardo, Los Pionis, Lab and Determinat, the general is graveyard all of these areas, all of these players are going to be super happy about this particular plane path. So let's see how uh, uh, now how does this particular game come in forward. I, I have to see, I have to you know wait and watch for these 
uh, teams to drop in and will we see some drop fights coming into the play as well because looks like the players of team Mafia might just uh, just blunt into the players of team ALSK at the same point of time and Mafia Burst he is getting tagged as well he is in the red, uh, red lines of the health as well one more shot to his belly might just take him down he survived to see another day he has been able to fall back towards that particular area now, 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 let's see, let's see how, how do the players now, particularly in this particular game, how do they try to, you know, play this particular game. I know, so many particulars, but, but a very good game might just be on uh, the way, ladies and gentlemen. And, and uh, super excited, uh, this is what I'm super excited about. So, for now, talking about Mafia Burst 7E, he is just using that buggy, making sure that he will be able to easily, you know, move inside the play zone without any kinds of trouble. Alright, so now uh, moving on to some other teams as well, where we, where we might see some fight, might be in this region of Los Leones. Uh, we do have the player of team Akuma, Stacy, kind of a bit AFK if I'm not wrong. As soon as I said that, he is back in the game. Akuma Mui, he has a Scar L and an SLR trying to play in this area of him, for himself. So, let's see. Team Akuma. How do they perform in this game? They were able to sneak, uh, sneak a second position and a potential chicken man. He was uh, the player of team Akuma. It was, I guess, uh, Jerry who was still surviving and he did a one hell of a fight against the players of team APG trying to steal away their chicken. But at the end, he was taken down just because of a very good nade coming in from the player of team APG and they were completely taken down. So team Akuma, uh, they would be looking to, you know, just, just leave the pass behind, get that chicken in this particular game and put yourself in the contention for that top 5 qualification for the prelims. So let's see if, if that works out for the player of team Akuma or not. Right now, Mui, uh, he is just climbing up the stairs of, uh, of this particular city of Los Leones. Uh, the player of team ORG also, they are quite near. So play, he is uh, first, first of all looting for himself. And as soon as he realizes that they, uh, that they are not alone in this particular area, looks like that already Sun Sun plays knows about that particular fact. He has taken a lot of damage onto himself. He is boosting himself up again to that 100 HP. But I guess they now have a fair idea about that there is somewhere, so there is someone who is still near them. So that is going to be, uh, that is going to make things a lot trickier for the player, the team Orange play right now. Because last year honest, it is such a huge city, such a huge city that even two to three, not even two, but three teams might just drop into this particular location, loot the whole city, get their vehicles and rotate off to the next playing area, to the next playing zone and, and without that too, without taking any kinds of battles, any kinds of fights in this particular region, this huge, uh, so huge this city is. So definitely the players, uh, they will have to just keep in mind these small small things that they, that they do not have to take those long range fights, that they do not have to engage themselves into those long range encounters because that, that then that is just wasting your armor and your helmet in, in a fight that you will yield no result out of because you know in these long long areas, in these long ranges, the rotation it takes a bit of time, it takes huge amount of time, not a bit, just huge amount of time to get to the next possible building if you do not have a vehicle with these teams, uh, they don't seem to have such a thing. So it is going to be just a waste of armor if they just try to engage in into a long range fight. Okay, you see someone very far away, you still want to force the issue. So you still want to force the fight, go for it, be our guest, we are present over here to, you know, get as much, as much entertainment as possible and try to go for the fight, try to secure those skills for yourself so that we may see a good fight, a good 4v4 fight, but then try to close in, not, not, not this long range fights. Uh, but looks like ORG, uh, they are not interested in any kind of that thing. They are just uh, rotating around this particular area, they are just moving away from the, from the region of Los Leones since they know that it is not a very good position to be in. Alright, so team Demigod, they are definitely going to hear this vehicle passing by uh, by them. So let's see if the players of team Demigod are anyway ready for this particular uh, fight that might just come their way in the form of team Beta, Beta Picon, H2R, Bacon, Bot VG. Uh, these are the four players playing this particular game as well. The previous game, not the best possible one. They were picked off while they were trying to rotate. And that is the most irritating way of getting completely taken down from this particular area, from, from a particular game. 
because so th- that is when something you cannot do is something about which you cannot do anything and while trying to rotate you you get shot such uh, in such a huge amount of uh, in such a huge amount of ammunition some uh, that is something you cannot even escape for uh, so yeah definitely these things are going to be concerning for the player of the team beta in this coming up game as well and let's see if the player of the team beta if they are able to you know try to get themselves back in the game if they just try and be in this game for as long as possible Alright, so some shots being thrown in, I guess a misfire coming in from the potential misfire coming in from player the team beta. Uh, that shouldn't be a matter of concern for them any now. Uh, but yeah, Pecon has that UMP45 and that mini 14 combination yet again. You know, LFSG and 6M are going to uh, get themselves into a bit of a tussle, into a bit of a battle. Let's move on to that particular duo. Oh, yes, 6M God, he has been taken down as well. Now, Foxy is trying his level best to hold the angle against the opponent. Uh, but they are being fired upon through multiple directions, through multiple angles. Foxy confirming all the kills that he can under the player. The team has been out. The last one was his one scenario coming in. He gets taken down. He gets taken down. And Bicket is very far away from his teammates. Now the kills are going to be confirmed by the last remaining player of Team FGS. Reappear. He was the la- Reaper. I'm so sorry, not Reappear. But Reaper, he was the very last guy standing in their way. And he somehow has been able to be in this area for as long as possible and secure those kills for himself and secure those opponents picks onto himself. Uh, now, now this is going to be a very heartbreaking scenario coming in because Big Didi cannot save anyone. Even though that his teammate got, got those three kills for himself, his teammates. But now Big Didi, since he was not able to be there on time, now in the one versus one trying to go for the redemption final kill onto his opponent. Let's see if he's able to get that or not. Uh, gets out of the vehicle, gets himself tagged a little bit. Now trying to pre-fire the common corners, trying to pre-fire the common angle, switching on to the nade. Reaper, I guess he is going to hear all of this stuff happening in around him and he is going to dodge that pretty brilliantly as well. So 6M, it shouldn't be a, it, it shouldn't be any way difficult for the players of Team 6M to get in this particular angle, to get into this particular area. But now FGS, Reaper, he, he might just... If you know, decide to run the position and then not to. Uh, he is now for for now taking some shots on the player of team Akuma as well. But you should not forget that there is still a player of team six and surviving. Now Akuma, they fire him in the back. They shoot him in the back, and he has been forced to fall back from this particular area, from this particular angle. And let's see how does this thing work for him? How does this thing come in the battle for him? But right now, the nades are being thrown in onto Reaper. But Reaper, he is very secure in this particular position. He does not have to fear about anything, as as he the area that he is in, it is not going to be you know just spotted down by any player or any time soon. So. The Reaper just, just holding a very close angle, making sure that no one can pass him by, no one can close him upon. And and you just eliminate the last remaining player of Team 6, Sam as well, who is Liquid, heading in the plain side, heading behind this particular compound, and making sure that he makes a move on the right time to take down the last guy remaining from Team FS, FGS right now. Alright, alright, so sorry, just misclicked onto some other uh, on the B right back screen. I'm so sorry, but yeah, back in the game, back in the game, still the fight between six Semp is going in on. And let's see how do they how do they try to continue this particular game. Big T D. He is just uh, hiding in this hiding in this particular area. He is still trying to hold this particular angle. But meanwhile, the players of TBK, Pew Pew Pew, the three Pews coming into play as well from TBK. 
uh, let's see if this if this changes any kind of situation for his team for his teammates uh, just going in with that SLR making sure that he has the right angle onto his opponents if they are spotted down the shots are being thrown in with those shots and I don't think so that they are going to make anything happen as of now those are just random shots coming in from a desperate player trying to find something out I think nothing is going to happen into this particular area into this particular angle so yeah right now now there is not much that the players that, the, that these all of these players can do because the second play zone it is still very huge all of these players there are just 13 teams playing this game as well so there is nothing there is nothing much to do until and unless the play zone forces you to uh, come into a particular fight so let's just wait for any kind of battle coming into the play and let's let's just, let's just hope that we have uh, we have ourselves ready as soon as it does FGB Reaper, he finally gets taken down by Big DD. Big DD confirming that kill for his team. Oh, not a lot of HP. He was left with a very little HP. And I mean, he survived and that is just going to be well and good for his team. He, he has been able to be in this game for a very long period of time. And now the fourth kill, although Wamda God and Foxy, he was not able to save any one of them. But I guess securing that kill, putting your team in that 12 top 12 situation should just be enough for you right now Okay, alright, so Beta Pecon uh, in this area of Los Leones has no trouble at all in this particular uh, region of La Bendita. Demigod KVN has that mini 14 and, and Thompson if I'm not wrong. Yes, he does have that 50, 50 magazine weapon as well. So a pretty, pretty great weapon coming in for this particular player as well. I'd love to see how does he you know, manage to play this particular game. And let's see, let's hope for the best possible result that he can provide us. Alright, so KVN is just rotating around this area. The play zone has again, this time the play zone has taken an interesting shift. The play zone has gone all the way south. And this southern play zone is going to force many of the players, many of the teams inside uh, in such a tight area. And then we might be able to see some fights. And that is exactly what we are waiting for. I do see a lot of fans coming in the chat section for Team Max. Guys, come on, come on. Uh, the teams that you are supporting, we have uh, somewhere near about 500 viewers viewing the stream right now. Guys, tell us which, you, which team are you guys supporting. Do not just sit in quietly or in the chat section keep supporting keep spamming your team's name so that we know uh, that you are here for your particular team so that your team knows that you are always you will always be present for them whenever they play i do see some now chats coming in for team org and team max again is it this is that just it all of these 445 people is it just team org and the players of team max that you are supporting Come on guys, come on guys, put it put it down in the chat section. Who are you supporting? Meanwhile, Beta, they have been able to take down one of the player of team ORG. And POV has been taken down as well. Now Demi got into this fight against the players of team ORG. This time, it is going to be Astro who has been taken down. But now the revivals have to be thrown into the game as well. Let's see if Skynin is able to uh, help his teammate get towards himself and get that revival on time. The players of Demigod, they were not very much healthy. They are still trying to survive for as long as possible. But now, as, as soon as the players of Team ORG, they have been able to uh, get themselves into this particular compound, get themselves near this particular compound. The revivals are coming in. All of these players are going to get this revival. And now, ORG, they will have to face, either, or face the players of Team Demigod in a one, in a, in a three versus three scenario as Orochi has been taken down. So it is going to be an even situation right now. Meanwhile, ORG, they they are going to have a little bit of an advantageous situation as the players of Team Max 
33 Leon he has been able to get a knock on to his opponents now Leon is continuously getting away for the mini for being shot he is now bursting down the tires he is now popping down the tires but now as soon as as soon as I guess the players of team ORG just saw the player players of team Demi got get taken down by some other team I, I guess they are they should be all upon this particular camp on KVN he has been given some time to heal himself up although the nades are still coming in but the nades are not enough to flush the players of team Demi got out of this position out of this area so let's see KVN still with that Thompson waiting for Sun Sun play to peak that particular angle waiting for Sun Sun play to get away to get uh, as soon as he peaks that angle I guess Sun Sun play might just get taken down by KVN KVN has that 2014 as well join me kid he takes one of the players down using that SLR of his own the player gets taken down one of the players has been taken down so go UGK all right so now supporters coming in for UGK and fire as well okay okay I will definitely keep an eye out for all of these teams again ORG 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 so many fans coming in from team ORG as well who are now engaged into this fight against the players of team Demigod which is going in pretty interesting love to see uh, in whose favor this fight is gonna go but still the names were pretty good the names are being thrown in again and again by Simpson play so now now is uh, focusing a little bit more towards join me kid Kid has been spotted down and he does not have a lot of HP to work with so a bullet into his tummy might just take him down to soon soon. Ah, the, the bullet, the bullet has been connected and join me kid goes down. Now the tap shots they do continue to confirm that kill onto kid but will they be enough? Kid, kid, kid will be taken down by the player of team beta H2 hard just stealing that kill from the hands of team ORG the BUT of battle royale coming into play. Uh, some other player knocks him down and there is going to be someone else entirely someone else who secures that kill for his team so now the kill gets confirmed but still the players of team beta they have a lot of work to do still the players of team join me are surviving three guys from team join me are still very much in the game so let's see if join me if they are able to convert this three versus four scenario in their own favor or not but looks like uh, they want to fall back power just falling back towards safety but beta they, they are not going to be anyway uh, left all alone now this time it is going to be the players coming in from team ALSK they have managed to get the very first knock on to Mikey Loves but now the revival is going to come into play the fourth play zone is again with the players of team beta they are inside the play zone so no travels at all for the players of team beta H2R uh, he got his buggy tire popped out completely so it is not going to be very easy for him to replace this particular vehicle meanwhile join me Bivit he is just proning and down near a particular race trying to spot down the players of team beta and as soon as they do Beta might be taking some shots by the players of team Join Me. So let's see if Join Me is able to uh, get those shots connected onto their opponents or not. But meanwhile, ALSK, uh, they are going for a different rotation. They are going for a different uh, different path altogether to get themselves inside the play zone. This might not come to the player of team Beta, but uh, that is not going to happen. Bot gets a knock over there, but Join Me Bivit. He has been able to get a trade knock as well, and Bot will be confirmed at the same point of time. H2R was trying to body cover him, but, the, but that does not work in their favor. So the kill has been confirmed. Beta Bacon goes down to the player of team ALSK, and Beta's Bacon will be confirmed as well. So ALSK, even though that they were in a little bit down on the numbers in Duante, now they have been able to get themselves back into the game. But from behind, we also have the player of team ORG coming into the game. Since so play, trying to hit those shots onto the player of team Mafia. Does not manage to connect any of those. UG Shazam is taken down. Fire Sab has been taken down as well. UGK falling down one by one. It is just going to be few and dragon who are surviving, who are fighting it out for their survival. Mila Skynin, I guess he has a rough idea about the players positioning of team Demi God. Demi God, they are already in this particular area. KVN again and again smoking his angle behind, but the play zone has gone a little bit north. The players of team Beta still in that particular fight. Akuma has also joined the fight, if I'm not wrong. No, that I am completely wrong. That is not the position. Alright, here we go. ALSK. Franco is going to be the last person standing. Beta, they are going for the revivals indeed. And the revival will be confirmed. And as soon as it is, I guess now the player of team Beta might want to push on to the player of team ALSK. Although the smoke is put down. But Mikey loves. He has been taken down as well. Now the random shots close to that rock are going to come into play. Demi got KV and gets a big on the player of team ORG. UGK has been completely picked off. Astro plays goes down completely out of the game. Franco not left with a lot of HP. One more bullet even on his neck might just take him down. 
let's see if franco is taken care of before he he takes care of the players of team beta or not franco he's himself up to 75 percent xp he is himself up to the fighting xp now again he will be subjected to many shots the shots are pretty good and h2r manages to get a knock but from behind now the player of team beta he gets turned upon but his teammate pico will cover for him and pico with the final pick onto the punks team beta they will be able to secure those kills and now more importantly move inside the play zone with seven kills all ready to their name meanwhile org they again have lost another good player for themselves astro he has been taken down but team org they still have to move inside the play zone which looks like a little bit of a tricky situation considering that they have to move 70, 70 meters and as soon as they try to do so team akuma they will be waiting with their arms open they will be waiting with their hands open completely so let's see if the player of team akuma are able to make the most out of the situation stacy manages to get a knock onto the player of team mafia and now org now they are trying to move inside the place and flux will for the player down trying to take some shots misses most of his mark Skynin still surviving, still being in this area. Flux again and again, making sure that, the, uh, that his opponent is not able to put that first and right on time. Uh, uh, ORG Sun Sun play tries to go for a nail onto the player of Team Akuma, but, but Flux is still very much surviving. Flux is still very much in this area, not giving it out. Now the money comes into the play as well, but this time Flux, he has been flushed out of his position and he gets taken down by Join Me Power. Power manages to get a knock onto the player of Team Akuma and the kill will be secured as well join me power gets that kill confirmation of casey being hit in the back by the player of team org another knock coming into play against the players of team akuma they have been able to get themselves in the top five position but now they are getting taken down one by one jerry he manages to shut skynet down skynet gets taken down akuma mui has been taken down and in play in a one versus one Akuma, they are getting shot in the back randomly through the smoke at the same point of time. ORG Sky, Sun Sun play, he has been able to move himself inside the play zone. Sun Sun tried to save his teammate, but he will be taken down as well. Now another play zone starts to shrink in. Stacy, he will put that first aid right on time. Now the vehicle coming in from Ejeri, it has to be the main thing. Sky in place, gets taken down because of the play zone. Stacy going in with another first aid of his own. KTS trying to make a run for the play zone, will be taken down by the player of team Join Me. They have that high range advantage and they are utilizing it perfectly. The shots are being thrown in by the player of team APG as well. APG, they have been able to crush the player of team TBK with a little bit of help from coming in from the player of team Join Me. Let's see TBK, they are going to crash down one by one now. APG, they are going to be subjected to many shots, many, many 14 shots coming in from the player of team join me. Dawan, he has been able to tag his opponent quite a bit, but the knock is not present again. Mossy, he has been spotted, the headshot is being tried to connect. So the headshot is far away from this particular angle. Join me power gets taken down. Akuma, they have been taken down again and again, but the play is full. You know, join me Dawan. He may not, he should not overpeak that particular angle. Power has to get that revival. But APG will make sure that stuff like that does not happen. Now APG again in a 4 versus 2 versus 2 scenario. We did see the same situation in the previous game as well. Well team APG able to secure another chicken dinner from this particular location. That is going to be the main question right now. Mossy, Mossy just charging in onto the player of team. Join me, join me, they get spotted down. Mossy trying to hit those shots. Hasn't been able to take down Davan quite yet. Uh, the nades are also now being thrown in by the players of team APG. Mossy, he is being subjected to a nade. The nade, the nade was pretty close, but it just bounced back a little bit. Shots are continuously being thrown. Shots are continuously being put in by the players of team APG. Mossy E is boosting himself up yet again. Completely healed up. Completely back in the game. Shroud. He wants to heal himself up at the same time as well. Now TBK Oakland has taken down by the player of team. Join me. But Dawan he in turn has been traded by the player of team APG. Now 2 versus uh, 1 versus 1 versus 4. This is looking like a very easy scenario. TBK gets completely taken down. Join me. Bivit in a 1 versus 4 scenario. He does have that high ground of Dawan. Taste trying to hit those shots. Has missed most of his mark. Again 20. 20 is charging an opponent on him. Now the damage has been dealt onto this particular player. No, onto his opponent, but the nade, the nade will do it, the nade will 
make it happen and team join me will be ending on that second position finish chicken coming in for the players of team apg with five kills to their name second we have the players of team join me with nine kills all right a good game coming in for join me as well third we have the players of team tbk with one kill fourth akuma with four kills fifth we have the player of team org with three kills and rest of the standings are right in front of you so yeah guys this was it for the second game of the day i hope so you did enjoy and if you did do not forget to hit that like button do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well but we'll meet you after a very short break till then do not go anywhere i'll just be right back
So welcome back guys to the third game of the day and we are back with PUBG Mobile Thunder Cup presented to you by Esports Empire sponsored by Nice Cactus and we are back in the game ladies and gentlemen the second the third game not even the second the third game of the day has already begun let's see in which team's favor this, go this game is going to end because the map of Irangil, it is going to be pretty interesting to see which of these teams is going to get that chicken dinner. Already team APG, they are on the top right now with back-to-back -back two chickens of the day. Let's see if they're able to secure the third one for themselves as well or not. Because if, if, they, if they're able to get the third chicken, I guess for, for team APG, uh, they are definitely going to qualify for the prelim since, you know, th there is a lot of... Uh, the, the, the three chickens, it helps you in huge ways, in huge, huge ways to qualify for the upcoming uh, prelims. 
and I am super excited to see if we do see the players of team APG uh, you know getting through that prelims uh, prelims stages but yeah right now uh, the players they are slowly and steadily dropping in uh, we do see the players of team demigod as well uh, just dropping in near the region of Rimos. the play zone had started uh, the plane path started from the region of Melta Pavan and has ended all the way up to Primoz. So again, a southern plane path of some sorts. Meanwhile, UGK this time, they are choosing to go in this area of Sosovka military base. And now they are going to be fighting it out against the players of Team Akuma at the same point of time. And let's see, let's see Team Akuma. How do they try to uh, come back into this game? How do they, you know, be in this game for as long as possible? Because they will have to fight it out against their opponents. That is the main thing. That is the main thing that I would love to see. Team Akuma fighting it out against the players of Team UGK. UGK, they are yet to leave a mark. They still have the opportunity. They still have the chance as well. Still two games are remaining. Uh, so, uh, so they should not, you know, lose their heart and be, be like, yeah, now the, the top five is not going to be very easy for us. But still, UGK, get those 20 kill chicken in the next two games and you will be back into action. You will be back in the game. So let's see for now. How do they perform in this particular game? Fire Sabi is just, uh, just healing himself up completely up to that. 100 HP, uh, making sure that he is all boosted for the upcoming fight as well, since they, they will have to, you know, deal it out against the players of Team Akuma. As soon as Akuma, uh, as soon as the players of Team Akuma, they try to peek in, the UGK, they will be ready with their own, uh, own, fan, uh, their own M4s and AKMs. So let's see, UGK fires up, how, how does he manage to get these picks against the players of Team Akuma right now? Uh, now the nades are being thrown in as well, the shots being hit onto the players of Team Akuma. From behind, we do also see Mui covering his team from the 7 star. Shazam, he has been tagged a lot. But Stacy on the staircase is, might just be a little bit difficult for the players of Team UGK to deal with. But UGK, Stacy, Stacy pushes in and UGK, they will make the most out of this situation. But from up, we do see Mui yet again. He gets a knock, the player gets a knock onto his opponent. And let's see if, if the players of Team if the players of team Akuma are able to come back into the game getting these knocks, they have been able to take down one more play one player of team UGK at the same point of time. Shizdam, he is completely out of this game. Okay, so the close range encounter, the close range encounter might start anytime soon between the players of team UGK and team Akuma. Till it does, uh, let's move on to some different teams as well. Team Joyme, Dawan, Kid, Power, Bivit, all of these players, they are still surviving. And Pochinki, an area where there is a lot of area, uh, where there is, you know, huge angles, huge areas to loot for yourself. The loot is also pretty good for you. I'm not going to be... Uh, difficult for them in any kind of matter but let's see how do the players of team uh, join me perform in this particular game Davan, Kate, Power and Bivit all of these players they are still very much surviving and they, they are in such an area where you know uh, we can say that the players of team join me they are in a very good position they are in a very good area Akuma A. Jerry uh, Akuma Jerry IKTS alright quite an interesting game still just throwing in down as that DP28 is waiting for the players of team UGK to peek uh, because if team UGK if they decide to you know peek in onto their opponents and they, if they are we if they might just be caught off guard the kills might be secured as well so that is going to be a question that is going to be a matter of fact right now let's see how do the players how do these teams they engage into the action they engage into this particular game All right, finally, the, the, the ammo has been exchanged, the ammunition has been exchanged. Mui, I guess, has been spotted down. So the shots were put onto him. And, and now he, you know, the player has been forced to fall back. And healing himself up, healing uh, completely up to that 100 HP. Now waiting for 
uh, their opponents to make a mistakes and then the capitalization might just come into the play from the players of team UGK but a knock coming in by Dragon Star Dragon Star manages to get a knock and as soon as Mui peeked out Mui goes down as well and UGK a well played trap help them eliminate the players of team Akuma and team Akuma they have been completely taken out of this game they have been completely finished out of this game a very good trap laid by the players of team UGK and their opponents just walk right into it their opponents just came right into it and now they have been completely eliminated out of this game UGK they get those focus in the very early stages of the game and this and this is going to be a definite confidence booster for all for all of these teams meanwhile the play zone it had gone no, it had gone north quite a bit so each and every team will have to move inside this play zone accordingly and let's see how do these players will, you know try to get themselves inside the play zone try to get themselves inside this playing area uh, this is going to be the region where you do not get damaged a lot there's nothing much to talk about really because there are really very less number of teams not much fights to cover not much things to say and mafia right now uh burst 70 has the db28 and a scar l for him as well uh, the level 2 helmet and the level 2 vest is going to be is going to accompany the player of team mafia on the same part of time but yeah definitely team mafia i'd love i'd love to see him play in this game i'd love to see him uh you know get some picks get some kills for himself but right now just just using that buggy moving inside the play zone is going to be the thing that confirms the, uh, that 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 concerns the players of team mafia a lot uh max no zone sad no problem pc own uh, i hope so that i pronounce your name correctly pc pc own ah never mind uh no zone no problem this is just going to be the very first zone so that that is going to be uh, of, of no issues at all uh just made your zone v max the bro sore auto money uh if you could please uh, type in english so i would be highly obliged i just understand hindi, hindi and english these are the two languages that i do understand and <laughs> nothing except that hope squad gaming says hope not sure if team hope is playing in this game i'd love to say if they are uh, but they aren't unfortunately so yeah hope squad gaming do let me know which team you are also supporting in the chat section as well music live thank you for the heart thank you for the spam thank you for the emoji as well top five team in cambodia kh on number one org on number two jmb on number three apg on number four and max on num all right no 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 number one is going to be org org second is going to the uh, second is going to be jmb third apg four max and fifth jfy so this is the prediction coming in from TK, uh, TK, TKP Tube and alright TKP Tube I'll, I'll consider that as well but for now it looks like that the players of team APG Tube uh, they are they are uh, you know dominating the battlefield right now meanwhile ORG versus APG as soon as I say that both of the teams they are now going to be the one of the best teams in uh, in Cambodia according to TKP Tube are now going to fight it out against each other APG they are they are being slaughtered right now it is just going to be 27 who is left alone but he takes down POV POV play the Skyrim coming in from behind he also gets taken down the shots are quite good another knock coming into play by 27 he has been able to take down 3 now just a single guy surviving in a one versus one 27 not a lot of hp and he will be taken down just because of that soon soon manages to take down the last guy otherwise what an effort what a brilliant effort coming in from the players of team org and they have been able to eliminate the players of team apg at the same point of time but apg the three knock coming in from just a single player considering that they were low it does not matter still getting those three knocks when you are so low on hp that they deserved that particular battle but it is going to be soon soon who shuts them down who shuts the players of team apg down and apg they have been completely eliminated by the hands of team org so org they win this particular team fight they lose astro which wouldn't have been the case but this is what happens when you are a little bit uh, less careful Meanwhile, the players of Team Max are also going down one by one uh, through the hands of Team FGS. Speeds up confirming that kill. Zeus. Uh, Alright. 
uh, Zio also now going in for the punches, completing those kills, completing those kill, uh, kills for himself, putting more, more and more points on the board for his team. Let's see FGS, how do they continue this particular game? Reaper, Deje, Zio, and uh, Paid. I'm so sorry for the wrong pronunciation because I think I know that I have pronounced these names wrong, in, a, in a wrong manner. Uh, but I'm so sorry guys, I do not know how to, you know, uh, how to pronounce these names. Uh, so yeah, just pardon me for that. Uh, but for now, now the most of the teams, they have to move inside the play zone at the very same point of time. A demigod, they have been able to get a knock on to their opponents, ALS. Uh, Mickey Love, Mickey Love has been completely finished off as well. So the kill gets confirmed. And now team demigod, they, they have got that first kill on the board. They have got that very first point on the board for themselves. So there shouldn't be very much concerning for the players of Team Demigod in any way. Now the smokes are going to be thrown in. There are three energy drinks just stacked up on a uh, on a concrete block over there. So these these drinks are definitely going to be taken down by Wham instantaneously. No troubles at all. So now uh, Demigod Wham just has that Scarl has that 4x with himself as well. The UMP45 is going to be on his back. So let's see Demigod. How do they want to perform in this particular game? The UMP, the Scarl, the weapons are perfect for the job. The weapons are exactly what they require. And let's see if Demigod, if they are able to, you know, somehow get themselves back in the game. Uh, they, they will be struggling as the top five position is not something that you will achieve very easily. You, you'll have to uh, fight for it. You'll have to wait for it. And let's see if they are able to secure that chicken for themselves or not team at Demigod if they're able to get themselves in that top 5 position. But talking about the play zone, uh, the play zone is also going to be a matter of concern for all of these teams, for all of these IGLs as they will be the people who have to make the tough call on which island to stay upon. Is it going to be the island of shooting range? Is it going to be the, the, the region of shooting range and Savoni, that particular area? Because th that small river which divides both of these land areas, it is going to play a spoil sport for all of these guys, for all of these players. So TBK, Max, FGS, Beta, Demigod, all of them, all of these players, they have to be pretty, pretty careful about where do they go do they want to stay on the main island is that the case will the play zone go over there this play zone is going to answer all of these questions i hope so the play zone the play zone goes towards the shooting range island uh, most of the rozok is still going to be inside the play zone so the teams coming in from the main island can have a little bit a, a, a little sh uh, short little break trying to rotate inside the main playing zone uh, but I don't think so. That is going to be a matter of concern for them anytime soon since they are very easily inside the play zone. So I guess they should be well and good inside that particular area. So the rotation might be seen coming in any time soon. I'd love to see, uh, I would love to see the rotations from where do they come in, for how do the players, how do these teams, you know, uh, decide to rotate inside the play zone because that is going to be a major major question a major major question that will be asked by all of these teams meanwhile we do see a knock coming in from the player of team org they have been able to take down one of the players of team join me who are trying to rotate inside the play zone now join me bevit he is trying to return the favor to his opponents but indeed he cannot now org from up above they are trying to throw those nays they are trying to get those knocks down to the players of team join me but uh, they are very reluctant about just getting down and doing the dirty work join me power he is throwing some smokes he is trying to hold off the players of team join me but bevit is going to be now uh, pressured upon by the player of team org again and again the peaks are coming in now the molly comes into the play as well bevit is being continuously suppressed and bevit he gets taken down by skynin although the cover fire was present over there but it was a little bit late it was a little bit late just because of which they are still very much surviving in this area now the sprays are still coming in not sure all right david i guess has been completely picked off all right he, he isn't but david will he be able to get himself into a safe safe and secure location to get that revival or not is going to be the major question org they have that high ground advantage now power has also been spotted down power is also being sprayed upon as well but now right hand side we do see kid coming in right hand side a pov pov play it is not see that particular player in that particular area and now has to deal with him now instantly switching on to that nade but join weekend will get that knock the vehicle blast now the vehicle blast takes another player of team join me down now skin sky and he is now charging in upon the remaining players of team join me the kill gets confirmed onto bevit and the player of uh, the other player of team join me down is pretty low on hp at the same time as well 
So let's see if Davan, if he survives this onslaught somehow, it is going to be a 2 versus 2 scenario coming into play. But Sky Nain, Nain falls into the water. This this can be a very disastrous thing to happen for Sky Nain. As soon as he comes up, he might just get taken down now, fighting around the pillar. We have Sky Nain, but Sky Nain goes down and the kill instantly will be confirmed as well. Now, ORG down to just a single man themselves as well. It is just going to be Sun Sun play who is surviving. Looks to go for that revival on to his teammate. Will be able to, will be able to reach there in time and get that revival as well. So POV is going to be back in the game. But now the play zone has closed in. All of the teams have already closed, crossed that Rosog bridge uh, one way or the other. By taking some casualties, we did see the players of team join me doing the same thing. But does not matter how did they do it. They are now inside the play zone as well. So now uh, let's let's talk about the play zone. Let's talk about the play zone. How do they try to be inside this particular area for as long as possible? Kid healing himself up, boosting himself up. Now knows that there is going to be a one versus a uh, two versus two scenario. The nails are being thrown, but looks like that they are just going to be wasted out as they, uh, the ridge right in front of them. It is super high. It is super high to you know reach on to. And it is never going to be very easy against the players of team ORG. Again, Simpson play manages to get the very first knock. For uh, join the power, he is still outside the play zone and taking a bit of damage. So that is going to be a matter of concern for this particular player. So now it is just going to be Dawan who is left all alone in this particular uh, in the, under the bridge region in the in, in under, under the bridge region. And let's see how does the player of team how do the players of team ORG they manage to get themselves some picks. The rays are being thrown again and again onto the player of team. Join me. This one might be a little bit more interesting. The nade goes in, bursts down, but the knock is still not present. ORG, they also have to make up their mind as they have to move near about 350 meters inside the play zone. And looks like that they are happy with the two kills that they received in this particular battle in this particular 4 versus 4 after losing their two players to the same team. Now, uh, ORG. Uh, if they do want to con commit into this fight, this would be the very right time because seems like that they do not have uh, the, the, the vehicles that they require to move inside the play zone. So now join me, they are also moving up slowly and steadily. A 350 meter run inside the play zone is not going to be easy for them as well, but they are guarding that vehicle with themselves. They are guarding that vehicle for themselves. Now a buggy coming into the play for Team ORG. Yes, secured. And now the rotation is coming in from Sunsun as well. Now Sunsun is going to stop in behind the behind his teammate. Trying to get the final pitch onto the player of team. Join me as the player of team. Join me. Might just push in any time soon. Join me. They are charging in. They get a knock as well. POV POV gets taken down. But Kid is pretty low. Join me. Kid. He is very low on HP. But manages to get that first aid right on time. Now they do have vehicles for themselves as well. Soon soon he is getting sprayed upon. But manages to fall back. Manages to get out of that particular threat. And the fourth play zone. It does use damage, but not enough to, you know, completely wreck you out from this particular game. So the players of team join me, they will be able to get themselves inside the play zone. However, not sure what he, what he is doing currently. I guess his vehicle was a little bit dead right now. And power might just go down. He needs to apply that first aid, which he is not going to be given the time to do so. Power, power, power. He will be taken down because of the play zone. The same thing can be said for Davan as well. It definitely is almost, almost on the verge of entering the play zone. But they somehow, they somehow fell in that particular pool. They somehow get into that, uh, into that ditch near that river flowing by, and they have been completely, completely eliminated because of it. Now, join me, kid. He has to heal himself up. The next play zone is also going to be pretty, pretty far away. But Max Stalker, Stalker, the last guy is standing. Stalker is still surviving in this area. Trying not to be taken down, trying to survive for as long as possible in this particular area. The vehicles uh, just are surrounding nearby him. I guess, I guess Max Stalker is not going to be in a very difficult scenario after all indeed because there are many teams who are passing by the players of team Mafia. So Mafia, they are not going to look, look in their own homes right now. And yeah guys, if you are enjoying, come on guys, 500 of you are watching the stream right now. Guys, come on, hit that like button, yaar. We are, we, we are down to 122 likes, 500 of you are watching. Come on, let's hit that 500 like goal just exactly right now. Come on guys, hit that like button. And if you, uh, you, if you haven't already subscribed, guys, the PUBG Mobile Thunder Cup, it is just going to be streamed on this very channel. And...
and let me remind you you will be missing out on that action and five teams are going to qualify through the prelims and if you do want to get notified again and again so just quickly quickly hit that like button and hit that subscribe button at the same time as well meanwhile team beta they are being uh, they are they have been able to get a knock onto the pair of team tbk now beta will confirm that kill as well and beta in turn will get another knock onto the pair of tbk as well default goes down the kill onto default will be confirmed at the very same time now tbk uh, meanwhile, Demi got CHI. He has a big to the player of team Beta Bacon has been taken down and on such a point of time. And uh, now moving inside the play zone is the priority rather than going for those uh, revivals. TBK no crush. He has been able to move himself inside the play zone, but not in a very convincing way. Demigod is now the players of team Demigod are now wrecking havoc onto each and every player, onto each and every opponent as of now. And let's see if the players of team Demigod, if they are able to secure those skills for themselves. KRI, CHI, KVN, and Wham. These are the players who are playing this particular game right now, and all of the four guys are still very much surviving talking about the player of team alsk he is the lone person who is inside this sixth play zone as well so it is not going to be easy at all for him to be inside this play zone for a very long period of time but let's see if he can you know all right as soon as i say that he gets spotted down he gets completely picked off at the same time as well come on guys just 125 likes that is not done yeah that is not done nothing is being charged from you just come on hit that subscribe button hit that like button at the same point as well so that you know you motivate us a lot to bring in more common tournaments like these for just for your region completely exclusive for your region so come on guys let's hit that like button let's hit that like button very very quickly uh, but yeah right now uh, talking about the player of team mgs speed sav he is trying to spot down the player of team tbk no crash is going to be the point of interest for him but from the right hand side we do also have the players of team m uh, the players of team mafia who are trying to uh, just shut down their opponents uh, right here right now down to the 18 players surviving just six teams remaining let's see if team mafia if they are able to get themselves inside the next play zone or not the shots are continuously being thrown right now bull bull the uh, blue he is trying to get that knock on to the player of team fgs but in turn gets shut down by the same player that he was trying to hunt down inside the play zone but in a very very desperate scenario talking about the players of team beta they have to go for the revivals the nades are coming in onto the players of team mafia yet again the airdrop is going to be a point of concern so the shots are continuously being thrown in by the players of team fgs fgs they are trying to wreck havoc into each and every possible direction the shots are coming in the shots are being thrown by the players of team fgs but the knock is not present now the smokes to get themselves inside the next 80 meter mark this play zone this play zone is going to be very difficult for the players of team fgs to handle but now the nades are being thrown upon the players of team beta to make sure that they are taken down before they try to achieve that play zone for themselves fgs even after having such a beautiful position inside the play zone they have just been able to get four kills to their name another vehicle blast coming into play getting another knock on to the player of team mafia that kill will be secured as well but this time that kill has been stolen away by the player of team demi god now the nade coming in from uh, uh, now the nade coming in from pyed pyed has not been able to get that much required now the nade is being thrown in again and again mafia blue gets a pick onto the player of team fgs zero has been taken down but now a 30 meter run towards the play zone for Tired right now is going to be a very difficult scenario to deal with. A BT beat as H2R will be spotted down. B tries to R goes down to the player of team F. GS and now the slamming comes into the play as well but I don't think so that tree is completely inside the play zone yet again now beta uh, they will be taking oh why VG just look at that HP bot VG surviving with just one HP remaining VG will try to survive for as long as possible Syed is trying to make himself inside the play zone he gets shorted upon the shots are being taken down Syed will might just, might just get taken down he definitely is now down to a 4 versus a 1 scenario for team mafia Trex is going to be the last person standing and looks like that the players of team demigod have been able to get that wwc all to themselves but me all right yes they definitely do the nade confirms it the nade comes in and team demigod get that 11 kill chicken dinner for themselves a very very good game coming in a very brilliant game coming into action second position we have the players of team mafia with four kills Third, we have the players of team FGS with 5 kills to their name and rest of the standings are right in front of you. Alright, alright. So yeah guys, this was the third match of the day. I hope you did enjoy and if you did, do not forget to hit the like button. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well. 
but we'll meet you after a very very short break till then do not go anywhere i'll just be right back
chose to break it Ask for truth but you only fake it I thought you said what we had was sacred It's all lies, all lies I was broken and isolated But inside held the fire waiting Not a word that you say can save this So don't try Cause this time you crossed the line We had 
बैक टू द गेम गाइज एक बार फिर से हम लोग यहाँ पर वापस आ चुके हैं वेलकम बैक गाइज टू दबी मोबाइल तांडव का प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाई ई स्पोर्ट्स एम्पायर एंड वी आर राइट बैक इन टू दिन हाउ डज दिस पर्टिकुलर गेम गो आउट प्लेयर्स प्ले इन दिस पर्टिकुलर गेम फिफ्टी वन प्लेयर्स विद थर्टीन टीम इफ एम नॉट रॉन्ग या डेफिनेटली ऑल दर्टीन टीम आर बैक इन द गेम टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्लेन पाथ द प्लेन पाथ हैज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द रीजन ऑफ एल पोजो एंड इज गोइंग ऑल द वे अप टू टीयर अब रॉन्ग का सो अ प्रिटी गुड प्लेन पाथ कमिंग इन ऑल ओवर all of the teams they can slowly and steadily just drop into these different locations, drop into these different angles. and and let's see let's see how do these players how do the team uh, they drop into this location how do these team how do these players they just drop in onto this map of miramar and uh, secure some kills for themselves uh, but yeah right now we do have demigod kri the, the plane is going to be of him uh, for his, for this particular guy only and beta sentilox all right so jm khabib uh, kabig supporting the players of team beta all right all right will definitely take that into consideration as well but for now uh, the players are slowly and steadily dropping in and as soon as they do we will start a right uh, we will be right back into the action so one and my official i fan cambodia hello so one how are you my friend i hope so you are doing good All right, so the teams they are slowly and steadily dropping in their different different locations. In the region of El Pozo, we do see many players uh, just in, in in these particular areas. We're talking about the player of team ALSK Franco. He does has that Winchester with himself, but that is only that is the only thing that he has been able to you know salvage till now. Uh, we do see another team in this particular area that is going to be the team Mafia, who, who was a team that, that who got that second position in the previous game. So it is going to be pretty interesting to see how do the players of Team Mafia play in this one because they, they will have to win this. They 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 will definitely love to win this game so that they are able to be uh, so that they are able to you know be in this game for as long as possible to qualify for the prelims. The eight games top five position. Whenever we see these uh, th uh, a very huge number of games and very less teams have to qualify at that point of time, the chicken dinners they do not matter much more. What matters is your consistency. I I'm not sure about the previous day. I did not watch the day one of this particular stream, and uh, I am I am casting the day two right now. And looks like that the players of Team APG. The first two games were brilliant for them. Back to back chickens, and the third game, they instantly dropped out of the game. They were eliminated by the players of Team ORG very early. And now, uh, in this third game, let's see how will they try to perform as well. Meanwhile, Mafia, they are going down one by one. A nade coming in from Two Pro, but that nade is going to be in the wrong window. That nade was not supposed to go in that particular location. Instead, two pro has that M16 is trying to take those shots, so the Franco manages to take down Mafia burst, and now the players of Team ALSK looks like that they want to eliminate that player as well. The kill is going to be confirmed without any troubles as the player of Team Mafia 
he has no teammate to cover for him tracks he is just going to be on the roof of this particular building but as soon as he gets any kind of footsteps he just might be a dead man walking again now he is trying to fall back towards safety does find an akm was a little bit greedy but then knows that he has to fall back otherwise won't be even able to use this weapon of his own now ALSK they are trying to take those shots and the punk will be able to take down Trex as well this is the last guy standing for team mafia is going to be Stensor 7e and falling back is the right decision falling back from this area is the perfect decision that he could have made now just just being in, in the area that he has that he desires to with the Dacia, alright, a roll, alright, a barrel roll coming in for this particular guy as well. But still, looks like that the player team, alright, not, I mean, they are not chasing him down. I thought that they might just be ch chasing him down. You know, Akuma, Mui Mui gets completely picked off. Yeah, let's give Franco will punch another player to his death. The kills are being confirmed again and again. And let's see uh, the players of team Akuma, how do they want to continue this particular game? Stacy. Getting that M4, retrieving that M4 from near that gas can has to be a little bit careful about their opponents. But I don't think so. There is anyone near this particular player of Team Akuma. ORG, they definitely were lurking around that area of La Bendita. Many many players are looting in, in this region from Team ORG. So Akuma a little bit caught off guard. The player of Team Akuma Muzi a little bit uh, caught off guard. And gets taken down Mui, not Muzi, but Mui completely picked off uh, from this game. Now, Jerry, I, uh, Jerry one KTS trying to use that buggy and be inside the play zone for as long as possible. The play zone, although, has all gone all the way west. And already, just look at that thing, just look at that black region. It is not inside the play zone. That is not something that you can play upon. You cannot climb that ridge in any kind of manner. So effectively, this is going to be a part of the map which is going to be inaccessible. So like what 10% of the play zone is not uh, is completely inaccessible. So let's see if the players if they are able to uh, just keep that into consideration and then move inside the play zone as soon as possible. We have the player the team beta in the region of Chumasera looting for themselves. Alright, so Beta just looting for themselves in this region of Chuma Serra. We, do, we also do see the players of team TBK who are trying to rotate in inside the next coming play zone. Uh, BB Pui, he has that mini 14 and a scar L with him as well. So the weapons are present over there for the job. Let's see if the players of team TBK are, are able to capitalize upon it or not. TBK, they are slowly and steadily moving inside the play zone. Uh, the play zone is going to be near about 2200 meters in so it is going to be a very imperative that they try to move in as soon as possible we will have gs oh, one of their players who was trying to get inside the play zone fired sab that's completely taken down the player has gone down fgs now have to play with just three players standing which is going to be a little bit difficult i must say uh, because fgs they, they are not in the uh, in the very best possible position they are not in the very best possible area and being inside in, in, inside such a place like this it will have a little bit of a repercussion of uh, you taking a bit of a zone damage as well now kvn has been spotted down the tap shots are being taken down onto kvn as well kvn instantly just falling back towards that particular compound making sure that he is not the person who gets taken down the shots were pretty good let uh, let me definitely say that but now the knock is not going to be present in any kind of form in any kind of manner so now the player team FGA, fgs they are still getting those vehicles and trying to get themselves inside the next play zone
okay so i'm so sorry for the long break guys and i'm back i'm so sorry for that break uh, but yeah right now the players of team max they are now fighting it out against the players with what looks like the players of team org and definitely it is going to be the players of team org who have been able to secure two kills for themselves uh, but now are fighting it out against the players of team max outside the play zone so the play zone is going to be a matter of concern for the players of team max and the players of team org at the same point of time as it is going to be 1600 meters far away so let's see let's see how does this game particularly go in this particular half Okay, so the smoke is present over here to help the players of team ORG get the loot that they want. And now ORG, let's see how do they want to move inside the play zone at the same point of time as well. Uh, meanwhile, team join me. They are going to fight it out against their opponent. That is going to be the players from team Beta. And Beta, let's see if the players of team Beta are able to eliminate the players of team join me. Or is it going to be the other way around? Bacon, he has taken down now. Uh, trying to get that knock. We have the players of team Beta, but... He, he takes one, join me, gets a player down. But team beta, he will be uh, good for the trade. But now the kill confirmations is also coming in. Slowly and steadily, the players of team beta are confirming those kills for themselves. Now from behind, we do also have bot VG and Pecon who are just, uh, just down this range, uh, down this area of land drilla and trying to get themselves in a very good area and, and into some very good position meanwhile APG uh, 27 years and now he, they have spotted down some of the players some of their opponent the SLR shots are coming in trying to get that knock in that buggy but I guess that is just going to be something like something you want to do but <laughs> uh, you know me uh, you are not able to connect those shots onto your opponents over there so join me they will definitely deploy some smokes uh, get those loot boxes for themselves available for themselves since the players of team beta have already decided to leave it uh, completely open now uh, el pozo montenevo landrela these are going to be the three major cities where the players can drop in where the players can come in challenge and get some loot if they don't have uh, if they don't have any uh, this is going to be a little bit of a tricky situation than we think sun sun play uh, he has boosted himself up completely looking for a vehicle desperately i guess might find a buggy as it is going to be right in front of him yeah he definitely does he definitely sees a buggy now 1800 meters inside the second play zone shouldn't be a matter of concern for them even astro is looking for a vehicle right now uh, nearby a road just running parallel to it trying to find any vehicle that he can and the same can be said for Skynin and his teammates as well though looks like Skynin has a tum tum has a bus for him to get inside the play zone to help him go inside the play zone and let's see how does he utilize this particular vehicle to get himself in a very good possible area meanwhile ALSK two pro on our screens he has that UMP45 has that Skarel with him and let's see if the players of team ALSK are able to uh, get some get some kills on the board for himself. The UMB45 and the Scarl is going to be also a very uh, a very viable uh, weapon for yourself. Let's see, two pro is he two pro to get those kills? Will he be able to show his proness and get some kills uh, onto his opponents again? The play zone goes a little bit west, and now. 30 to 40 percent of the play uh, play zone is not going to be uh, is not going to be easily playable in because that area uh, you cannot reach above it you cannot go above it and now the teams they have to be uh, just constricted in such a small space now the fights are definitely going to happen and they already have started down to bro getting shot by the player of team UGK just burst down the vehicle himself trying to get him uh, trying to get uh, give him a little bit of a comfortable spot but two pro he is being com completely finished off as well as Karel Chos continuously being thrown in by Dragon uh, trying to confirm that kill they haven't been able to uh, to do so but let's see will Punk be able to get that revival or not uh, will Punk allow the players of team ALSK to go for the revivals or not oh 
all right all right so mikey lars uh, was being the prey over there but in turn turns out to be the predator gets a knock on to the player of team ugk and instantly the vehicle uh, below him to help his teammates be revived the team fire is being thrown in at the very same time mikey lars is making sure that his teammate is not completely picked off Shazam going for the peak again shut down he is being shut down completely you need to double team this guy and hit your shots as well 2 pro again goes down but it is going to be Mikey who is good for the trade who will be good for the trade UGK they have to be very very thorough about the strategy that they have against this particular player as Mikey loves he is loving it right now 2 pro gets the revival yet again the first trade might come in any time soon and as soon as the first hit comes in, I guess the players of Team ALS would love to fall back from that particular region, from that particular angle. But from behind, we do also have the players of Team Demigod. Demigod? Uh, Kevin? Mm, KVN, I don't think so. You know, he has any information about Mikey Loves. And Mikey Loves from this high ground is just ripping things apart. Nox coming in back and forth for the players of Team ALS. And this is going to be LSK's a chance for redemption. Trying to run from that kill as well. Mikey again taking some shots onto the coming passing by vehicle onto the player of team Demigod. Join me, kid. He also manages to get a knock onto the player of team 6 Semp. And now the push comes in. The push has been already started by the players of team Join Me. And let's see if this push uh, deals some fruitful. If it gives some fruitful insight for the players of team Join Me, or is it going to be 6 Semp? who will be able to hold on on to a 4 versus 3 scenario they have these deep ridges to play with a big dd big dd will be completely pissed off he will have no chance at all to uh, just come back in the game meanwhile uh, all the one other gets a pick onto the player of team join me power goes down to the player of team 6 emp as well got with those m16 tasks manages to get the second knock on the other hand apg they are also bursting those vehicles getting those kills for themselves Join me power, he has completely picked off. Join me kid is going to be the person of interest right now as he is just going to be the last hope for Davan to get that revival. And kid falls in this area, takes huge damage, but is still surviving. David just under his opponents. Uh, looking to fall back okay so uh, so Bivit is just going to fall back from this particular area from this particular angle but now he sees the players of team max at the same point of time stalker will be straight upon stalker might just get taken down the way till last comes in but stalker still surviving stalker has not been completely picked out of the game yet and let's see rg sky nin play gets a knock onto the player of team ugk als they are also getting those knocks back and forth for themselves tbk no crush gets completely picked off the game as well again the play zone it still has 20 percent of that area in an unplayable position right now and the fourth play zone it is going to deal huge huge damage as well now each and every team is trying to move move themselves inside the play zone we have the players of team demigod who are continuously being a threat for the players of team fgb all right but let's see fgb reaper will he be able to get the revival from his teammates or not is going to be the major question right now uh drk chaos drkus darkus i guess uh is, is coming in uh, for the revival no he is not it is going to be the players of team demigod who have been able to flank down the players of team fs and now are trying to secure that kill now zero he has also been spotted down the mini 14 touch shots are coming in he will be picked out as well and team fgs has been completely eliminated by the players of team demigod meanwhile from behind we also see the players of team apg now charging in upon their opponents Beta speak on skill will be secured by the player of team APG, but they are not done yet. Now they are moving forward towards the players of team ORG and Sun Sun plays. He is all ears for this particular fight. Now he's called down the players of team APG trying to rotate. The drop comes in and Stalker gets taken down. All right, not Stalker, but Amasi gets taken down. Another knock coming into play by Sun Sun. A very good knock indeed. The Shroud trying to use his bike and trying to get himself inside the play zone. He definitely will be able to do so. But team APG, two of their guys have been completely eliminated. Nowadays, there's going to be 27 and Shroud who are still surviving in this nightmare situation for themselves. Again, the play zone shifts towards the western side. Now, a 50% area being occupied by some uh, by a particular region where you cannot just reach. 
this is so very much unfortunate and team six semp might be able to make the most out of this scenario the most out of this situation meanwhile demi got from below they also have to move inside the play zone which is going to be no way easy join me baby he is still surviving he has an m4 of his own now cloning him down taking those shots take down the kill confirmation onto mossy as well now baby trying to get himself to that cover position instantly switches on to that demi 14 and an edx combination trying to get those kills onto his opponent but hasn't been able to get any 6 cent oh wanda wanda again and again going for those trap shots through the smoke onto the players of team org but he hasn't been able to get anything down proxy meanwhile gets another one of the players of team ugk down on the ground the position that the players of team 6 can have right now is going to be prime they are almost in the dead center of the play zone and none of the teams can rush in upon them even if they want to but now a very interesting vehicle coming in by the players of team demigod they are trying to climb up on this particular ridge as the players of team 6 empar and they will be most probably yes they are going to be successful as well so the only competition that the players of team 6 semp is going to have is from the players of team demi god right over here two of the players of team demi god they are also going to be parallelly situated in this area org pov pov play will be taken down by the player of team join me now Demigod just boosting up for the upcoming fight. AG, AG, APG is there now getting a kill confirmation onto their opponent. But instantly gets traded out. The kill will be secured at the same point of time as well. Now UGK is trying their level best to survive in this onslaught somehow. But they definitely need some cover to do so. Down to the last six teams remaining. Down to a very few number of teams remaining. Again and again, the players of team ALS, they are getting some picks onto the players of team UGK as well. Few had been taken down, but fires up with the trade on to ALSK. Now have to move inside the play zone at the same time as well. Join me, Kid and Bivit. Both of the players are still very much surviving. The next play zone has formed on just the threshold uh, up above that particular mountain kind of thing. But meanwhile, Pew Pew uh, just bursting down that vehicle, making sure that he is inside the play zone for a little bit more longer. And this play zone, this play zone is very hard to see. ASL, the punk gets taken down because of the blue zone as well. Now, Demigod are still pushing in. Demigod, they are still very much interested in the fights that they can have. Already down with 5 kills. They are looking to eliminate the players of Team 6 Temp at the same point of time. They do have spotted down the vehicle. Now, switching it on to that M16, Mini 14, 6 x combination. Let's see if this works for them or not. Join me, Bivit. He has been able to get himself inside the play zone, but not a lot of cover from the players of Team UGK. That is going to be a matter of concern for them as well. So UGK, let's see if they are able to spot them down and take those picks. Meanwhile, Demigod, Demigod falls down to his demise. See, they have fallen down and they have been taken down at the same point of time. Join me, kid gets spotted and taken down by fire. Sad the shots were good. Wham gets a pick onto UGK's Dragon Sam. Uh, the revival, the revival again is going to be a matter of concern. But from above, we see the player of Team Demigod getting those picks for himself. The kill gets confirmed at the same time. TBK, they are also going to be a potential, potential play for the players of Team Demigod. The random shots are coming in. TBK, they literally have nowhere to run. Bipui will be the last person standing. He will be spotted, will be taken down and now just down to the last four players standing UGK Dragon Sap gets spotted down, gets taken down and the random shots coming in from KVN who will eliminate UGK as well. Shizam was taken down by join, by join me squad. Now down to a 4 versus 4, 4 versus 2 scenario. Demigod, can they get another chicken for themselves or not is going to be the question and let's see. What will be the answer for that demigod KVN boosting him is boosting himself completely up to high HP, making sure that he is completely boosted up for this fight again. Six them, six them, one of that gets spotted down. One of that, the spray, the spray gets missed out by demigod. Just because of it, this guy, this team is also still surviving. But team demigod, they more or less already have secured that check in and with the position that they have. The position is a very prime one. And surviving against the players of team Demigod is not going to be easy at all. Foxy trying to move inside the play zone has to move 40 meters and it is going to be a 2 versus 2 situation in this upper region. I don't think so that the players of team Demigod are going to be very willing to share it with their opponents. But Foxy and 
Oxy and Manada, they are the two people who have to take them down. Manada tries to go for an overp, gets taken down completely. The commitment had to be made. Meanwhile, Vam goes down as well. The nade coming in from the players of Team Demigod is going to damage the players of Team Six Temp a lot. And Six Temp has also been eliminated. Now, the last team surviving is going to be join me under this particular ridge. The play zone is forming it again. And this play zone is going to be a very difficult one. Join me. They are pretty close to the next play zone. But they are not completely inside it. Bimit gets spotted down. He is being slid upon as well. Up comes the drop. Here comes the drop. But join me kid is still surviving. Beam mauled out. Completely damaging himself out. But still surviving. Demigod now in a 1 versus 2 situation. Wham. Coming out all out in the open, trying to get that knock on to the last player standing. Then he got bam, misses up his shots. Same can be said for join me, kid. Now the nade coming in. The nade is going to be thrown in onto the players of Team Demi God. The play zone is now no, no matter a concern for the players of Team Demi God. They want that chicken, but join me, kid, with that nade will make it very difficult for them. A fall off nade coming in onto the last player standing of Team Demi God. Demi God, they get completely eliminated. And join me. From a position which looked like was the end for them. They secure that chicken dinner all for themselves. A 10 kill chicken coming in for team. Join me. And Demigod. They have been just pushed in into that second position with another 10 for themselves. A very very brilliant game coming in indeed from team. Join me. 10 kill chicken dinner all for themselves. Talking about the third position, we have the player of Team 6, Semp with 4 kills. Fourth, we have the players of Team UGK with 4 kills to their name. And rest of the standings are right in front of you. So yeah guys, that was it for today. I hope so you did enjoy. If you did, do not forget to hit that like button. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well. But meet you a day after tomorrow. Till then, take care. Bye-bye and sayonara.
you cross the line. 